Hi there, I'm Mike Benton again for Thunder Vision, and earlier today, youth and promise were added to the Stockton Thunder roster with two brand new free agents, that being Jesse Fratkin out of Brown University and Nathan Deck out of Prince Albert in the Western Hockey League. And the man who's son of him joins us now with Thunder head coach Matt Thomas. Matt, two new pieces added to this puzzle for this next season. What caught your eye about them? Well, you know, they both uh, come highly recommended from, from their coaches. I, I think, obviously, one's a forward, one's a defenseman, and uh, start with Frack and uh, you know his college coach raved about his two-way game, his speed, uh, something that obviously we want really wanted to try to improve from our team from last year, and more importantly, his ability to play with great players and make them better. Uh, you look at his junior hockey numbers; uh, he scored a lot, obviously, with a Brown program that uh, traditionally has been struggling to to score a lot of goals over the years, just because of the conference they play in. Uh, you know, a lot of times guys come out of that type of a out of that type of a program and don't have huge numbers, but he's a guy that's uh, got the ability. He's had a, he has a history of doing it, especially with his junior numbers, and and I think he's a guy given an opportunity to kind of break out of that you know that college mold playing the pro game. Uh, the sky's the limit for him. But I think uh, you know obviously you got to be pretty smart to go to Brown, and I've been told he's a very smart hockey player, and he seems like a very committed individual to getting himself to the next level. As far as Fracken is concerned, a forward with those modest numbers in college, what parts of his game do uh, coaches often look at and see that there is something that could translate from the college to the pros and be even more successful as far as he is concerned? Well, you know, we identified a couple things that we wanted to target, uh, one being speed, and usually guys that come out of college, uh, it's, a, it's a skating man's game, so you really have to be able to skate, so he certainly fits that bill, but I think the next... Uh, the next element that we were really looking for was the way to, that he can think the game and and not so much um defensively more offensively can he make the right plays is he going to see the plays developing and i think uh, that's that's the type of player he is he's he's a very cerebral player he's a guy that can dish the puck he can see plays happening and and he can anticipate plays to get the puck in the scoring areas so i think for for him i know he's excited to get into a situation where he's going to be able to utilize all that i think uh, you know in his brown career he, he had to play a very defensive system to try to win a lot of low scoring games and uh here, obviously, in the pro game, it's it's more about playing an attacking style, and I think he's going to fit in that way. During the, some parts of last season, Nathan Deck wore the C on his jersey for Prince Albert and a player who might be a little more used to the length of a pro style of schedule. But with that being said, there is a bit of a jump, of course, from junior to the pros, and sometimes players can often fall back into the habit of trying to do too much when it comes to training camp time. For Deck, what does he have to do to impress as far as you're concerned? Well, I think the great thing about him is he's not that type of a, a player. Uh, you know, you t I talked to his coaches. I talked to guys that play with him. Garrett Zemlak played with him, and I talked to guys that played against him, and, and everybody raved about his competitiveness. And uh, he's one of those guys at the end of every night, it's not necessarily the fact that he made all the big plays that made everybody notice and went, wow. It was that he did all the little things that all his teammates and his coaches were going, wow. Like, And, uh, you know, he, he's a guy that can play in every situation, and that's what attracted me to Nathan. You know, he can play on the power play. He can play play on the penalty kill and he can he can play a shutdown role and he can and he can and he can move the puck up the ice so I think when you're looking at young guys you want guys that aren't maybe one dimensional and, and Nathan fits that perfectly he, he's 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 a multifaceted player that I think you know is going to take some time to grow in the pro pro game but I think he's a guy who's very determined to do it and I think you know when you have all those intangibles it makes the transition a lot easier and I think he's going to be a real good fit player like him was often used on the top defensive pairing on his team last season, and that means also playing against guys like Ryan Nugent Hopkins, who went first overall to the Oilers uh, earlier this summer in the NHL draft. How does that translate in terms of the, the competition that he could face here in the ECHL perhaps this season? Well, I think when you're a leader on your team, you're always going to be put in those roles where you you got to be a guy that can take down the best players. And obviously Nugent Hopkins is as good as they come at that level. And I'm sure he's probably going to be happy that he probably doesn't have to face him that much. But I'm sure most of the defensemen in the Western Hockey League that are returning want him to stick with the Oilers. But uh, I think coming into the pro game, I think that gives him great training. I think he's seeing the elite players. And I think he's he's had to compete against those guys. And he's done a great job. He's been, he's been trusted not only wear the letter on his jersey, but to be a leader on the ice and in the locker room. And again, and I'll, I'll comment on his character and, and his willingness to do everything that's asked of him. And, you know, the guys raved about him. They raved about the type of player he is. And I'm just really excited to put another guy in our locker room that has all those all those attributes. So it's five players you now have signed, three coming back from last year so far, and two newcomers. What kind of a position are you in now moving ahead during the recruiting period of this offseason? 
Well, you know, we've we've got a few big ones coming up here. Uh, we we've got a, a few new ones coming up too. Uh, I think that the important thing for us is uh, the constant communication with our affiliations, um, and uh, you know, San Jose and Edmonton have both been very vocal and. Uh, in trying to figure out what the needs that we have and uh, we're trying to address those with players that they think will be good depth players for them. So a lot of it comes down to their decision making, but I'm certainly a part of that process, which is always nice to have that relationship with your affiliates. So for us, um, you know, it's a little bit, when you have two affiliations, a little bit of a slower process sometimes, uh, usually results in some higher caliber players. So I know our fans are always itching for uh, a lot of signings and uh, I just want them to know that they're coming and, and uh, we're, we're making a lot of progress we have a couple holes that I want to fill uh, on ECHL contracts as much as possible uh, I think if we can get uh, those but there's only a few and I really think the way that our our lineup shaping up uh, I I'm not going to bed worrying about the holes that we have in our roster I'm, I'm going to bed excited about filling just a few in what we already have in place so um, once contracts are signed and inked with the league and everything is uh, good to go from that standpoint you know we can have a lot more signings coming up here in the month of August Matt well spoken thank you again thanks Pence Underhead coach Matt Thomas joining us as Jesse Fratkin and Nathan Deck all signed, sealed, and delivered for this next season. I'm Mike Benton for Thunder Vision.